So I've, I see there's a lot of uh, Fatberg fans in the audience tonight. Um, I'm here to help with that problem. So tonight I'm launching a new movement called Fatbergs Anonymous. And it's, it's, I think it's a, a massive achievement because it's not easy to get movement and Fatbergs in the same sentence. <laughs> so um, the way it's going to work is that Fatbergs Anonymous is a support group for people who are addicted to creating Fatbergs. And uh, it's going to be non-judgmental as well. And uh, that, uh, we'll have a monthly meeting. Um, the last Wednesday of the month seems to work for everybody here. So see you back here, here again next month. And um, so um, we're here to confess about Fatbergs that we've created in the past, those that are addicted to creating Fatbergs. So could I get a show of hands uh, who's willing to share with us here tonight the, about the Fatbergs that they've created in the past? <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I'm sorry there, uh, just due to data protection regulations, we're, we're not able to, you know, have you on video here tonight. But we could do it like, you know, the way they interview criminals on uh, TV, like, you know, you just show you the silhouette and go, Hi, my name is Tom. <laughs> so, um, anyways, seeing as I'm the only one with my hand up, I'll, I'll have to uh, give my confession. So, um, a few years back when our kids were younger, we were changing a lot of nappies or diapers and we use a lot of wet wipes. And uh, one evening my wife came home from the supermarket and she said, look, I've got this new product. It's called uh, Flushable Wet Wipes, a big Flushable written on the front of it. I'm an engineer. I was, I was afraid a Fatberg would uh, kind of in, invade me here in my brain here, but um, and I'll have to so, get an extra time for all that injury and all that. So um, anyway, um, yeah, so my wife came home with these flushable wet wipes and um, she said, look, this is a great new product. So yeah, you know, we're wrecked at this stage, you know, changing nappies and all this. So yeah, you can flush them down the toilet, said, no problem. So anyway, about a week after using these continuously, I came home one evening and there was a big digger outside on the roadway outside our house and there was a big hole in the road. I looked in and there it was. I came face to face with my first Fatberg. So, you know, I've had a very, Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. Right. So, um, anyway, so there's a big hole in the road. I looked in. That's my first experience with a Fatberg face to face. And, um, you know, I promised myself after that, that was, I hit rock bottom. I realized I couldn't go any lower than a, a sewer. Uh, the only way it was up from there. So um, through a lot of, you know, reflection since then and, you know, through my research in UCD, I realized, you know, why everybody is throwing stuff down the toilet and down their sinks and why is this called, ca causing so many fatbergs. And, um, I said, you know, I'm now going to fight against Fatberg. So now I'm a, fa a Fatberg Avenger, <laughs> Dr. Fatberg. <laughs> so Dr. Fatberg is, you know, probably doesn't sound very good. It probably sounds like a, a villain in James Bond, maybe. But it, it's a, a, probably a true reflection of my evil past creating so many Fatbergs, <laughs> unknown to myself. So, um, as I, when I heard about this opportunity to um, do this gig, I said, well, this, okay, this is an opportunity to get the message out there, the important message about Fatbergs that a lot of people don't know about, but it's maybe, it's a bit scary, a bit crazy maybe, to go on stage doing <laughs> comedy. So I said it to a friend of mine back there at Christmas, I said, I have a rather unusual um, New Year's resolution. I'm thinking of doing a comedy gig about uh, Fatbergs. 
so I knew by the stunned expression on his face that he didn't think it was a good idea. <laughs> so I said to him, you know, um, there could be some toilet humor. <laughs> there, I don't have a lot of clean material to work with, so there could be some dirty jokes. There could be some crap jokes. My career may go down the drain. It could be flushed away down the gutter. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, but I decided to go ahead with it, was, even though he said afterwards, after me, I, I thought telling so many jokes there, he says, can you actually make jokes about Fatbergs? <laughs> so um, I decided to go ahead with it, because it's such a serious topic. You know, it's particularly bad in the UK where they've got over 300,000 blockages in sewers every year. There's one blockage in London every seven minutes. And, um, you know, uh, Brexit is actually like a fatberg. It's can be it can be hard or soft, and it can cause backlogs. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so apart from that, like, I mean, the, the, the cost of these problems are just massive worldwide. There are big cities like New York, London, Melbourne, they're all spending millions of dollars every year taking out fatbergs. It's actually a billion dollar problem all over the world <laughs> in urban areas. And um, apart from the cost of it, um, there are other issues like the sewage could overflow back into people's property, could overflow onto streets, can go overflow into rivers, kill, killing fish and all that as well. So I decided I was going to become a fatberg avenger. Um, and I'm not the only Fatberg Avenger. Um, Captain Fogg is the most famous uh, Fatberg Avenger. He's based in uh, London City, Ontario, Canada. And uh, his real name is Barry. And like a lot of Avengers, uh, their, their real name tends to be very kind of simple or plain, like Barry, um, Tom, Peter, um, Tony. Um, but anyway, um, so when I got to know him, I was wondering, you know, how will I tell him that I'm a Fatberg Avenger as well? Like, so um, I thought, you know, there might be potentially a bit of tension between us. You know, I'd be stepping in on his territory maybe. Uh, so, uh, you know, that might be um, some bad blood between us or might escalate into Captain Fogg Civil War. <laughs> and the reason he got the name Captain Fogg, because it stands for fat, soils and grease. He's a grease inspector in restaurants. <laughs> He also tests um, flushable wipes, and he's found scientifically, scientifically that wipes are not actually flushable. Yes, you can flush them down the toilets, but they block the sewers. So please don't flush wet wipes. And another brilliant thing that he's done is he has a very simple idea, these compostable cups. So he hands them out free in public places like libraries, and you know thousands of people have used them. They bring them home. They put their grease from the frying pans and oven trays into it and, and then to put them in their food waste bin and that can be turned into compost or renewable energy uh, so it's good for climate action. Yay. Woo! So anyway, um, there, we're not the only um, Fatberg Avengers in the world. The real ones are down in the sewers, particularly ones in London. And these are people who actually, you know, they're physically shoveling sh uh, like stuff in the sewers. <laughs> and um, they do that every day. And th but it's, uh, even though it sounds disgusting, it's actually a very um, strong tradi tradition in, in families. It's passed on from one generation to the next. You could say it runs in families. <laughs> there's, there's a steady stream of recruits into the business. Um, but th it does have some perks as well because um, you know, they're excellent broadband down there in sewers, because I always hear the flushers saying that they're always watching live streams. <laughs> and, you know, it can be a very frustrating job. It can be so frustrating that they could actually get constipated if they don't give a crap. <laughs> and, but anyway, um, the format for this, uh, Fatbergs Anonymous, and I hope you're able to come back for another meeting soon, uh, is that... <laughs> You know, we all tell our confessions, obviously, 
you know, this is your first meeting, and maybe next time you'll be more inspired by my confession and you'll be ready for your confession the next night and we'll all support each other. But we're going to finish off with a song. <laughs> and, um, you know, we all have to join in. You know, we have a community spirit here. So um, I'm going to have to put this back here. Hope it stays together. Okay, so this song... <laughs> The song is, uh, you know, using equipment all the way from Canada, from Captain Fogg, his compostable cup. And uh, it's also multi-purpose as a drum, too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you, um, just before the song, the main point is, in the song, is only flush the three peas down the toilet. So that's paper, pee, and poo. <laughs> so you know when you're being toilet trained, pee equals one, poo equals two, and paper equals... Um, Three. That's my contribution to society. <laughs> so anyway, Taylor, Taylor Swift might be a bit jealous when she, uh, she hears this song, or she might be a bit annoyed um, because you might recognise the tune. So, um, you know, I don't want look Taylor. I think the camera's over there. Look Taylor, or if your um, lawyers are looking into this uh, after on the video, um, I just want to say to you, Taylor. Like, I hope there's no bad blood between us, just like <laughs> Captain Fogg. Um, and I hope you're not going to be so mean to me. Um, and if you are, I'm going to shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I hope you all come back the next time. I'm sure there's some people here that will hope that we're never, ever getting back together. <laughs> but anyway, let's do the song, right? And the, the key is, when you hear me saying 312, you have to say... Look what you make me do, please, paper, pee, and poo. <laughs> okay, so let's do a practice. Look what you make me do, please, paper, pee, and poo. So remember, when you hear three and two, we do that, right? Okay. I don't like wet wipes in my drains. Don't like your flushable names. Use toilet roll, I say, in the sewer. Now I dig through, oh, I... Don't like your filthy grime, your greasy fabric's mine. I see it all the time. Isn't cool? No, love you, Lou. Please be smart. And make my don't make my job harder in this climb. Don't pour grease down the sink. It's a crime. Let a cool put in the bin after meal time. I check it once. Your fabric's not nice. Ew! Look what you make me do. Look what you make me do. Please paper pee and poo. The code is dream and two. Look what you make me do. Please paper pee and poo. Look what you make me do. Please paper pee and poo. That is the end of my rhyme. Thank you for your time. See you next month. <laughs>